Art to Read. I'm Gerard Saylor from the L.D. Fargo Public Library in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Here's a couple books you might enjoy reading. The first one up is The Far Country by Neville Shute. As you can tell by this beautiful cover, it's been rebound. And what's more, our copy is falling apart. So if you're really interested in this, you'll have to make a reserve and get another one until our copy is fixed. Uh, Neville Shute was a really popular author in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. He died somewhere 1960s and 70s. And uh, he was also an aeronautical engineer, and he actually wrote this part-time. And I've read three, maybe four of his books. I read his autobiography called Slide Rule, which is really interesting. He started being an engineer in about the early 1920s, I think, and he ended up having his own aircraft company partner with a couple other guys. And he worked for a firm that had a, a, a dirigible competition they were in uh, that the English government had hosted in the 1920s. Really fascinating story about designing and building that and flying it from the UK over to Canada and back. Uh, this though, uh, the far country, is set in Australia. After the war, things in England were not going so well. Everything was still under rationing for food and fuel. Uh, the National Health Service had just started up and Shoot obviously was not a big fan of that. And he himself ended up moving from England over to Australia. And uh, it was this great wide open country in Australia and he loved it there and uh, he ended up writing novels about it, including his most famous one, On the Beach, uh, which was made into a motion picture in 1959 starring Gregory Peck and Ava Gardner. But uh, The Far Country is really interesting. Uh, it starts out in England where uh, an older lady passes away due to the incompetence of the National Health Service and their misorganization, mismanagement, and uh, the lady's uh, uh, great, uh, let me think, great niece, part of her inheritance from the aunt is to go over to Australia and visit relatives that she's never met that immigrated years and years before. And she goes there and she meets and falls in love with another immigrant uh, from Eastern Europe. He bounced around Eastern Europe after the war and ended up in Australia. And uh, Shoot really uses the setting well, um, comparisons between England and Australia, how Australia is this wide open country but also full of opportunity. And how these, these two people meet and interactions between all these characters and the different personalities and just it, just the way things are, are set up in Australia. Lots of forests and open land and, and sheep pastures and it's just a really well done story. Uh, the second one is The Cold Spot by Tom Piccarelli. We actually got this in May and Piccarelli has several other uh, novels to his name. This is the first one I've read. And when I first started reading it, I actually was going to quit reading it after only a couple pages because it felt like a ripoff of a Parker novel. Parker is a character by Donald Westlake who writes as uh, under the pen name Richard Stark. And he's just uh, a hardcore crook, a real sociopath, but it makes for great reading and great stories. And I, I thought that's what this was going to be, but it isn't. Uh, it stands on its own really well. Um, one of the two main characters is a lot like Parker. He's the grandfather of the main character, Chase. Uh, Chase's parents were killed when he was uh, about 10 years, when he was 10 years old, and his grandfather came and picked him up out of foster care without any sort of government permission, just scared the foster family and took him. And uh, from that point on, from 10 years old to about 15 years old, uh, Chase was a full-time crook. He became a wheelman, a driver for his uh, father's group, his crew, of gangsters and he was a real good grease monkey, a great mechanic. And after his grandfather commits a murder of somebody in his own crew, uh, his uh, grandson Chase fears for his own safety and splits away, bums around for a few years on his own as a driver, ends up falling in love with a female sheriff deputy down in Mississippi, marries her, they stay there for a while, they move out to Long Island, his wife is killed uh, on duty and Chase is out for revenge and he ends up calling his grandfather up because he's the only guy he knows that can really help Chase do what he wants to do. And there's a conflict there, there's several conflicts there among Chase. One of them it refers to the title, The Cold Spot, is what Chase refers to that part of himself where before when he was, you know, 10 to 15 years old, he would take all these emotions and feelings and he just bottle them down, shut them off, and bury them in that cold spot inside himself. And after he got out of the crime life and he married that cold spot just went away and he has a lot of difficulty getting that hardness back to him to do what he wants to do for his revenge. So that's two interesting books, uh, Cold Spot by Tom Piccarelli and Neville Shoots, The Far Country. So try them out.
That's it.